hey, it's done. I've got an incredible paper haul here with a lot of early Christmas items, the perfect time of year. We're going to show you some of that right now. Hey, it's done. I have a paper haul here that I thought I would show up. Perfect time of the year. There's a lot of Christmas items in here. Early Christmas cards from the Victorian era all the way on up. Some other paper items, some prints, some print ads, and some other sundry. So we're going to hop over to some close-ups, and I'm just going to show you some really interesting paper items you've probably never seen before. So here's a nice little stack right here. I've got less than $100 in everything you see here. Now, most people might not see much value in this, but we'll go through some of this, and I'm going to just show you what's in here. And let's start with this piece right here. We'll show you just an odd mix of it. I don't know if I'll show you everything, but this is an early Christmas card and it was put together from different pieces of paper basically different printed cards and someone has attached the uh, I guess silk you'd say on the outside they've added puffer to this like some type of filler in the middle of this too now again I've got less than a hundred dollars in everything you see here and some of this you will get to see in patreon including some poster stamps here that are fairly easy to find if you dig around enough um, but this is just an incredible item here. This alone might get me all my money back right here. This one single solitary piece here. Let's show you some of the bigger items and something more interesting here as well. Now, I look through everything, even if it doesn't look graphical. This lot was not together, but it was at the same place. So that's a good plus to kind of look outside the box. And this is a CDV, Carta Vista, of President James A. Garfield while he was still alive. And what's also in there was some Knights Templar items, which James Garfield, President Garfield, was. And these are funeral paperwork for attending his funeral, apparently, at some point. Um, and it's Sir James A. Garfield, Special Order Number 1. It's from 1881. I've sold a few of these, not quite like this, but I've sold a few just standardized, more along the lines of something like this other one that I got here for President James A. Garfield. And on average, I get about 75 or better dollars a piece. This one might be even better because it's some sort of flyer. There's nothing on the inside of this one here. This is also another Garfield piece, and it's a postcard, an early, small, miniature postcard of some sort. It could have been trimmed down, that's possible, but as it looks, it just looks like an original postcard from September of 1881. Again, Sir Knight James A. Garfield. Literally, I'm expecting 75 bucks a piece for these right here. To anybody else, they probably wouldn't even have looked at these because it just looks like a piece of paper. This looks like a cut-up postcard. Not the case at all. Really good stuff here. Now, here's a... Uh, I think this is a ticket. Oh, no, it's actually a menu card from uh, 1879, Grand Commandery. It's another one of the Knights Templar pieces. Something like this, 45 bucks probably. Um, it has all the names. Very nice example of it. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. I dug through all kinds of stuff to find this. I assume that the person was a member of the Knights Templar. There was some swords apparently there before I got there. I don't really care if I missed them. I'll do just fine with all this paper here. I might even do better than if I bought a $150 sword. I've got less than 100 in here, and some of this is uh, just some primo pieces. This is a Knights Templar banquet ticket of some sort complimentary ticket and it's signed even by somebody so maybe somebody famous a lot of the people in the knights templar were ex-military personnel let's zoom in just a little bit so you can see it better and here's just another one this box of cigars presented to sir knights doesn't really matter but it's a cigar presentation card from 1880 excellent condition not a thing wrong with it so 20 30 bucks Garfield himself here again. I just put him in a little sleeve so nothing happens to him. Thirty bucks, forty bucks, maybe somewhere in that range. I've sold a couple of his before. They're not super, super rare, um, you know. And he was still alive when this was on because it does say President James A. Garfield. And I've had some candidate pieces before he actually was elected too. But that's rather interesting items there. Let's show you some smalls here, and I'm gonna take a pair of tongs out because these are 
very unique pieces I haven't run across ever before. Now, I hope you can see these. They actually have cloth embedded on the face of the card. Very, very unique. That's all fabric of some sort. Just a fabulous piece here. This is a die cut. You can see how it's all cut out. I have never seen these before at all. Again, cloth, silk, I'm assuming, of some sort. Uh, another one. Just fabulous pieces. Now, I've seen similar angels to these, but just never with the fabric. These are probably some of the nicest ones, especially with just that little bit of red in there. It's just a nice example here. It's three different colors of fabric that have been embossed into there. Even up here, her scarf blowing is fabric, which is just amazing. I've never seen a set like this before. I just have a couple bucks in all of these pieces right here. These were a little more than some of the other pieces, believe it or not. I would probably expect to get maybe 65 or 75 bucks for the four of these. Again, because I've never seen anything like that. Just fabulous pieces of Americana. And these were very interesting, too. Now, I had some of these maybe four or five months ago, and I was really surprised to run across some more of these. These are miniature playing cards of some sort. Uh, they're definitely original printed from that time frame, 1870s, maybe earlier. Maybe these are kid style. I don't know. I've only seen these once before, and I snagged them up, you know, just like this. Hopefully, they're worth some good money here. I have no clue on these at all. I don't even think I sold the rest of them, so maybe I'll have to see if they're from the same assortment, and maybe I have a whole set here. There's not a whole set of these, but I think even as partial sets, these miniatures like this, I'll still do extremely well on this. Maybe 40 bucks for this assortment here. Playing card stuff always goes for us also. And this is another neat, interesting item here. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's Native Americans here. And it looks like it's a sock suspender what's in this. And this is a insert from an actual box of these that were sold to somebody. So you can see the suspenders of some sort pulling them up and all the Native Americans are doing that. You've got Spain here and you've got America here. So this is probably Christopher Columbus. This would date this to about 1893 for the Columbian Exposition in my book. It's too close not to be. It's from New Jersey as well. Rather interesting piece, as I said, this would sit inside of a box of these items. So somebody bought a box of whatever these would be, the, the sock holders or suspenders, whatever the case may be, and this was stuffed inside the box. It's typical of what you'd find back in the day. Here's another interesting piece. Now, I've had a couple of these same brand. It's a lesser known brand, I guess, or cheaper, I should say, more than anything. But this is actually a nicely engraved or of some sort image here across this. Just a nice example of a lemon extract bottle label. Labels always go very well for us. So I'm thinking on something like this because it's got uh, Columbus in it, 30 or 40 bucks minimum. Something like this, about 20 bucks I'll probably get out of it. And I've sold dozens and dozens of labels like this in the past year or so. I sell labels all the time, even these earlier ones. So these are rather interesting. Now, here's some um, Arm & Hammer. I'm not going to show you every one of these, but these are cards that would have been in a bo uh, box of baking soda back in the day. I bought a bunch of these. Now, these are considered Victorian trade cards to some extent, but they're also primitive um, uh, trade cards in general, like non-sports trade cards. Um, and this one's pretty interesting, too, here. Let's zoom in on this one here to give you a better example of it. Take your time and read that there. This is a card that would have been given out like an escort person, trying to escort a woman home, a single lady. Um, I've had other ones similar to this that were rather unique like this. I've sold them all for about 50 bucks. This doesn't look like much at all to anybody, in my opinion. It's nothing. It's just a piece of paper blank on one side. Excellent condition, though. Just fabulous piece from about 1870 or 1880. Um, something like this again, 40 or 50 bucks. These right here, um, let me back up again. Now these right here, at least like $2 a card or better. Uh, many of these type I can sell for four or five easily. I'm probably just going to throw them in a lot because I've got hundreds of these in my uh, inventory right now that aren't up right now. But I can't pass them up when they're dirt cheap. 
Now these are interesting. They're from um, Arm & Hammer as well, or Dwight Soda, which is technically Arm & Hammer. Let me zoom back in a little bit so you can see them. These are Mother Goose cards. Uh, you can see them very readily there, Mother Goose. I get about seven to say ten bucks a piece for these, and I know other people will sell them in a lot. But if I list them separately, I can do very well um, in that case by listing them separately and taking eight bucks or so. I'll list them up for twelve fifty to say fourteen fifty, and then settle from there. But they're very nice cards. Again, like a Star Wars card fan, this is the same type of thing. This is where Star Wars cards came from. Dom, you should you should be aware of these too if you're not. Stuff like this goes for some good money. Now, Dom the Primetime Treasure Hunter knows cards as well. I don't know if he knows these earlier ones, but these are where modern-day Marvel collectible cards came from. Magic the Gathering, all of those sorts came from these type of things right here. And they came in several different sizes, and I think the smaller ones are the ones that are worth more money, if I'm not mistaken. I might get, say, 15 bucks for these. Very nice, excellent condition. Well, actually, it says new series. So this would be the second set, and these should be the first set, our new cards. Yeah, so this would be the first ones here. Again, 8 bucks a piece would be, on average, what I get for these right here. If I added up everything I got from this one purchase, less than $100, again, I have in everything. I'm probably looking close to 1000 bucks if you count every single thing I got in here. And again, I'm not showing you everything. It'd be take probably an hour plus to show you everything. These are just bird cards. The bird cards are really collected highly. Some of them have coupons on them, and they can go for some incredible amount of money. Now, I've sold probably every single one of these cards a dozen times over. I get these all the time. They show up in sewing boxes, believe it or not. And I don't know what the deal is about sewing boxes, but I see these a lot. The fish ones are some of my favorites. They have like a metallic, almost like a Dresden uh, glisten to them. Some of these are just incredible. The rose fish here, just awesome looking card. They really went all out on the fish cards. And I always do, is that the same one I just got? Uh, Northern Pike. Yeah, these are probably somebody's extras. Here's some other ones here. Now, I've showed these in my hauls as well as in what sold videos. And I get about 8 to, say, 14 bucks a piece on these labels like this. They're smaller than they were now. This one's not in the greatest shape. I've sold probably a dozen or so of these last year. This exact uh, label here. It's correct size. It's Wrigley Jr. Clove, Chewing Gum, Adams. Probably an awful taste, I would gather. Spearmint. Again, there's nothing wrong with these, buying these at all. May not seem like much to somebody else, but I'll probably get, say, 50 bucks or better out of this little lot right here. So I don't knock labels like this. People love product labels. These probably date to the 30s or 40s at the very, very latest. These are from the 1939-40 uh, uh, Golden Gate Expo. They're unused, too. Never been touched. Nice backs and everything. These are like uh, bumper stickers, poster stickers, poster stamps, anything along that line you could call them. Rather excellent examples. These don't go for a ton of money either. Uh, but on average, I'll probably get, say, 8 bucks or 10 bucks or so a piece out of them. Some are better than others. Treasure Island, I'll probably get 15 or 20 This one's got like a weird metallicness to it. Um, Treasure Island, again, in fact, here's another one. I didn't realize there was two stuck together. Just a nice example there. Let me stick these back in an envelope or a sleeve here. I don't like to damage any of these, so we always stick them back in after I pull them out. There's a Reno one. These all seem to always show up together, all of these sorts. I bought packs of these. Maybe it was a pack you bought at the place, or maybe they were give-outs or something, but I've had probably eight or nine of this here. 15 bucks at max I get from, but most of these are very common. I just sell them routinely. Now, I talk about business cards. Let me zoom back down here. I talk about business cards all the time. Here's a neat, interesting example of some business cards here. Marshall, Michigan, Fred Vogel. I know some Vogels that uh, were living in this area when I grew up. So it's for the American and Red Star line of steamships. It's for insurance, I'm assuming, to when you go on the trip. Um, but the person spoke German and uh, had German clients. And on one side, it's English. And one side, as you see here, is old-style German. These date to about 1870 or 1880. I have two of them. Brand new. These were in a book. Um, I was going to buy the book, but the book wasn't in the greatest shape. But these fell out, or one of them fell out, I should say. Then I fanned the rest of the pages, and I found another one. So 
Airship Matters in Germany. Um, just a nice example here. I'm guessing maybe 50 to 75 bucks a piece on these. Uh, let's move into some other interesting items. Let me give you some of the bigger items here. Let's back up um, a little bit more here. This is like a handbill for McGibney family. They were a musical group, very well known. Uh, Miss Viola is one of the more famous ones. Now, I assume this was stuck down to some, um, maybe a window or something advertising it. It tells you how much the ticket price was and everything. Something like this, and there's junk on the other side too, but something like this, um, I'm probably going to say I'll get 50 bucks out of it maybe, um, somewhere in that range. Now, here's an interesting Christmas card that always shows up locally. It's from the Wilson Spice Company which is actually from Toledo, here where I grew up. So these always turn up for us around here. And this is a Christmas fantasy or Christmas dream scene. Fabulous card. I get, say, 15 bucks to 25 bucks on average for these, depending on what time of year it is. This time of year is the best. I have one of these up now, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe even two of these up. These show up around here all the time. I, I don't go to an early estate sale without finding something from the Wilson Spice Company, in all honesty. Bookmarks I talk about all the time. Let me back back up there. Um, bookmarks I talk about all the time. Just a couple of advertising ones for leather goods. I'm not even sure where oh, uh, Philadelphia uh, Philadelphia on both of these interesting items uh, bookmarks I do fairly well 15 bucks or so a piece on these even in the condition they're in now we go into some better items here is the Battle of Cedar Creek from the Civil War um, I would have to look up who the general is or who the officer is it's an advertising card nothing spectacular but something like this 45 bucks or better I have not seen a piece like this ever before so I'm not sure 100 percent. it has a rip right there it has a maker's mark though too on the side really nice interesting item at least 40 bucks as i said here's another advertising one as well from another um where was this from this is from taunton massachusetts it looks like george washington uh, and obviously it's his uh, mount vernon home site which i've been to very interesting place if you haven't been there before when we were there they were uh, digging, doing an archaeological survey of part of his property. Uh, soap items I talk about, I did discuss these in my Patreon group, so for those in Patreon, this is a call out to that. Ivory soap, and this is a calendar, I don't know, oh, 1890 is the year on it. It's all here. It's a rather interesting, very nice piece in my, my opinion. I think it would have probably had a cover, but maybe not. This may have been how it came. It may have showed up in an envelope at the store if you turned in so many wrappers. That's usually what I see with this. And it has information and stuff on the back. The kids could have colored this too when they were done. Now here's some print ads. Now I cut these out since I got them. Um, I cut them out and, and just uh, kept the pieces that were important. Um, again, I sort things out fairly regularly when I get them, depending on what they are. And these are cutouts from an 1873 uh, newspaper or magazine segment. There was no cover, so I don't really know what it was, but I know for sure it was from 1873. These big, bold graphic ones go fairly well. At least 10 to 15 bucks on these, I would say. The image on this, the cars, if this was a trade card, Petty John's Breakfast Food doesn't go for very much money, but this image here will do just excellent. If I'm not mistaken, it is a California company, and, and these sort of things do go very well. Uh, again, 15 bucks or so. Now here's definitely a California, San Francisco, 1873. It's engraved. You can feel it. Just a very fine, even with a rip on it. Um, in fact, I cut part more off than I would have normally because it had um, a rip through it. I think I folded. And I cut more off than normally just to kind of get rid of the rip as best as possible. Something like this, maybe even 25 bucks. Here's an interesting piece. Terrence Seltzer Apparent. This is a quack. Um, it's supposed to get rid of headaches and things. The frogs on here are just incredible. It's got a poem. Nice advertising piece. Again, these are just cutouts from something. So I will sell this without a doubt. This is just a very interesting anthropomorphic uh, frog set. 
they're painting the sign. Um, it's just really interesting. I'm going to put, say, 45 bucks on this one here. So I'm going to put the same on this one here also. So really nice examples. This one, again, this is on, um, like, rag paper. This is really interesting piece. I can date it as well to 1873. I cut off extra pieces that were on here. These were just scraps and a bunch of junk in a box. So I picked up all this stuff. You can see it's not in the best condition. It's just an excellent example. I wish you could feel how deeply this is put in here. You can feel the ridges with your fingernails on here. Just an excellent example. I'm probably going to put 50 bucks on this one here. Now this one's unfortunately been trimmed drastically. What would have been on the bottom down here would have been Courier Knives in the 1860s or 70s era. This is a legit Courier Knives. Um, again, but it's been trimmed, unfortunately. Their name's gone on it. But for what I have into it, it's very nice piece. This is all hand watercolored. Early example, authentic, original, excellent piece had it not been trimmed. Even trimmed like this, I'll probably get about 30 bucks for it. I could list this in the Civil War section. It's about that time frame. It's an adorable image, in all honesty. Uh, probably brother or sister, or two brothers or two sisters. I don't... Uh, look away from images like this and, and in all honesty sometimes what I think is a boy ends up being a girl and, and vice versa by the way they dressed them back then so just a nice example here let's show you a few more things here now I think this is a Four Seasons no actually it's all Christmas they're all Christmas or winter scenes on this here this is something typical that they would do back in the day save your wrappers uh, Goodwill Soap, J.E. Marsh, Lynn, Massachusetts. You can get a big picture if you send away so many. This is another promo item here. Um, I'm probably going to get, say, 30 or 40 bucks for this one, in all honesty. It's winter, Christmassy related. Uh, Burden Bearing, this is a Christmas card here. Um, unfortunately, there's no date that I can uh, find out. Mrs. Charles, and it's got, like, poem inside. Several pages of it. I have no idea on who this is, but I'll have to look this up a little better. I'm going to at least guess 30 bucks on something like this. Uh, probably 1880s, somewhere in that range. These I run into quite often here. In fact, i got a few more sitting here that came in the same lot. Christmas cards. And it's basically a printed piece of paper that they've... It's embossed, too. Very nicely embossed. And they've glued on this uh, silk fringe on the outside of it. These don't go for a ton of money. About eight bucks a piece is what I would get. I'll put them in a lot, though, and probably get a little more for them. Just nice, excellent examples. Um, probably could be cleaned up a little bit, but no big worries. Here's a nice example of a, a trifold Christmas card from about 1870 or 1880. As you can see, let me back back up there. Just a nice example. It's um, die cut. Uh, it's images all the way around, unused, just a real nice example. I found a box, and there was a bunch of Christmas cards that looked to be unused, and that's what was in there, as you see. Unused Christmas cards. Now, this one's rather interesting, because it flaps there, flaps there, but to open it, you do this. And, you know, you can unfold it, but uh, it's really an interesting card here. I'm going to put, say, 75 bucks on something like this because it's an excellent condition. I just don't find them much nicer than this, in all honesty. I mean, it's just a perfect example. Had I had the envelope, maybe a little more. Uh, now we're going back to trade cards again. Now, I paid attention to these because um, it's from the same company. And they have some French writing on here also. This card is one of a series. Let me zoom in so you can see that. One of a series of a New England birds. We will mail the set complete 20 cards for 25 Goodwill soap wrappers together with your address. Now, I don't. I didn't count. Maybe they're all here. I have no idea. Um, it looks like some of them aren't numbered. Yeah, there's some that aren't numbered. So maybe, um, I don't know. That's kind of odd. I didn't notice that. Just a couple that aren't numbered. Uh, there may be the whole set here. I'm not really sure, but these go very well. Most of these that I run into cards like most of the cards I run into like this just are either religious cards or have nothing on the back, just a basic statement. But these are full fledged trade cards. I'm I don't know what to say on these. I'm gonna guess at least ten bucks a card here. Let's just see how many I got. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight,
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I'm missing one, it looks like, if that's what the set was. But either way, this is just a real nice example of these. Show you another Christmas card here. Another fine example of a Christmas card. This one's used, unfortunately. Um, but it's just a fine example of this sort of artwork. Uh, just a nice example here. Let me show you another interesting example. Um, Raphael Tucker ones that I always look for. This is like a stand-up cutout paper figures. And um, they're Raphael Tuck. Old Mother Hubbard. Cinderella. There's the mice. There's the uh, fairy from Cinderella, um, and uh, I'm assuming maybe Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet um, spider-wise here. Now, these look like they may have been stand-ups that would have been glued to another piece, and they would have stood up some way, shape, or form, especially by seeing these. Some of this kind of stuff would sit like this, so it would be like a layered effect when you look at it. Um, something like this again. The mice may have sat like this because they're looking up at her or even maybe like this and then the fairy um, godmother could have been in here somewhere too. Maybe something like this. Yeah, this would have been it right there as you see. So um, in fact, yeah, that's the way it goes just like that. So you can kind of see how they go together. Maybe this even sat back here something like this, um, and they were layered. Uh, rather interesting, though, pieces here. Something like this is a lot, being Raphael Tuck, and something fairly rare. These are kids' toys, honestly. Um, something like this, probably 50 or 60 bucks, I should hopefully get out of something like that. So, rather nice. A couple other interesting pieces here. I've had a few similar of these letter cards of some sort, British, unused. Um, it looks like it may have been unperforated from something, but the stamp's still there. Um, nice example. I don't know what these are worth. I don't even know how old this is, uh, honestly. Um, Photochrome, uh, I don't know the company either. It's an advertising piece for the hotel, so maybe 10, 15 bucks. Rather interesting. Uh, here's like a, I'm kind of hesitant to take, well, I guess I can take this out. Um, this is like, uh, as you see here, Love's Offering. Inside here would be like a handkerchief that uh, a lady would have maybe sprayed or perfumed, and they would have given it to someone they love, their beau or soon-to-be husband or something. Um, it actually still has a scent to it. Um, I hate to open something like this, but and sometimes there's nothing inside. It's just done for scent or as a gift. So rather interesting. I've had dozens of these in all honesty. Eight, ten bucks is all they go for. So nothing spectacular. Um, let me just show you one more item here. This is a Dresden Christmas card. Really small piece, but rather interesting example. Let me zoom in on this one here. You can kind of see it right there. Um, rather nice. I haven't seen something quite this small like this in this nice of condition. Even this small piece here will probably get me about 15 or 20 bucks, maybe even more, because it's definitely Dresden. I mean, just a real nice example. And here's one last item, a Raphael Tuck Christmas card. Very nice. It's very thick. It's paneled. It has an extra piece. It has thread around it, a ribbon. Raphael Tuck nicely stamped on the back. Just a very nice example here. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some thoughts and some ideas on the stuff that we do buy and do make a lot of money on. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.